today we continue working on attentive healing, attentive focused or competition healing for uh, IGP should soon sport. Um, session number two, I want my dog to be more focused and keep the focus uh, much longer. Uh, just so you understand what I, uh, how I divide the healing uh, exercise in general. If you think about it, in the healing exercise, we want the dog to do so many different things. One is to look at us all the time, be focused, attentive. Second, the dog needs to know the position where the front aligns with, with your leg, right? So that's one position. Another position, the dog is long, it has also rear. So the rear should stick out too much or, or be too close to you. So he needs to also understand where uh, to keep the rear, how to control it. And of course the dog needs to move along with you, not too fast, not too slow. And then the dog needs to know to sit uh, for the basic position when you stop. So there's so many exercises that we need to teach the dog, uh, but all of it crumbles if the dog doesn't keep focus, if the dog can't be attentive enough uh, to uh, perform this exercise. For that reason, I do not feed my dog into the position. I teach my dog to focus first. And after that, then I gradually progress. But if I don't have the focus of the dog, the rest doesn't, to me, it doesn't matter because once the focus is gone, the whole position is gone and attention of the dog is gone. So you have no kind of control needed for the competition. That's the reason why I train the way I train. That's the reason why I don't feed my dog into position. I want my dog to learn every portion of the exercise and know it well. And once the dog is ready, then we progress. So today uh, you'll see, I, I always have the flat color, uh, but mostly what's new today is that I have a leash on the choke chain. And today, if I, he needs correction, he will be corrected. And so what I want to do today is that I want him to sit there, wait for me, and uh, I encourage the dog, but then sometimes I keep a pose because my goal is to make my dog sit next to me and stare at me for one minute without me saying anything. So the dog needs to get to that point before I'm ready to move to the next level. That's my target, and uh, I'll show you how we progress to this target, and then after that you, you keep practicing until you can have the dog for a minute looking at you. Okay, let's start. Um, I have a stick cheese, which is very convenient for that exercise. Because um, I'm simply just feeding the dog from my hand and it's not too sticky, not too greasy. And he likes it, so it should be okay. All right, sit. Look, look, very good look, very good look. Very good look. Look good. Look no. Uh -uh. Look good. Good. Very good. Very good. 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 Good look. I rewarded it right away because when I moved my hand, he kept looking at me. Look, he's doing it very well. Good. So he's now getting that. He doesn't need to look at the hand, but he has to look at me. Very good. Good look. Good look. And now let's keep the pause. Good look. Look. Very good. Good look. One again. Good look. Good, yes, good. That was very good. Good, very good. Good boy. Get it. Come on. So as you can see, he holds it for about 15 seconds now, and I'll progress the same way. I always feed from the top. The dog now knows not to look at the hand, and. Uh, I keep repeating command look. I rarely use it once I we get to healing, but at the beginning, especially when we start moving with the dog forward, uh, helping him know that he shouldn't look down, he should keep looking at you, helps if, if you have this command look. That's the only reason why I have it. So it's kind of a transition command for me that I don't use for too long. But it helps 
the dog and uh, I hope you'll progress with your dogs uh, soon and happy training.